Hi everybody, welcome back for another video. Today we are here for the One Book July Week One Summary Thoughts, all of those, <laughs> those ideas. I still have the same four books, but you can see a couple of covers have changed and I have some interesting things happen in the first week of One Book July. No, number one, my schedule has gotten a lot busier than it has been like almost all year, which I find very interesting that it happened during July. When normally in July, my schedule isn't as busy, but I had a lot of little things added to it. And it was interesting to see what I gravitated to and what I let go by the wayside. So first things first, this right here is my passport, mm. which I use as my everyday carry, which I use as my wallet. You'll notice it's in a different cover than it was last week. I've actually, this is the third cover I've had it in. It went from being in a cork passport cover <clears throat> to my Midori cover into a Moterm cover, and then into this one. So I guess it's been in four covers. This is a Foxy Fix. It is a Zoe leather, and the black leather color is called Posh. It's um, an Italian leather that is a, um, a like a, like a, 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 it's a thin leather. Um, it was like a lot of the leathers they were using towards the end of towards the end. It was an Italian leather that was thin, but this one was a textured leather. It wasn't one of those squishy soft ones. It's soft and flexible, but it has like a little bit of a firmness to it. Everything in here stayed the same. I have my cute little photos of the babies. Um, but I have my monthly calendar. Stayed the same. Nothing's changed. I have my weekly calendar, stayed the same for when I'm on the go. It has my zipper pouch for carrying my IDs and such. And then I have a uh, blank Midori insert for notes. And then I have my, just my 2015 Traveler's Factory Midori writing board. So this has stayed the same. Usually I've got cash back there, but I used that the other day when I was oot and a boot. So this has been serving me incredibly well. And in most circumstances, this is probably all I would use. But let's set that aside. Here is my standard traveler's notebook. This is a Moterm notebook that I got back in the middle of 2019. I also have a passport like this. And I also have a blue one with orange on the inside that I got from the wonderful Olga. She had sent me a, a lovely little care package that had a traveler's notebook. Actually, I'll show you. <laughs> she had sent me a lovely care package that had this in it. <laughs> so <clears throat> this is something that has changed a little bit. I did have it in a cork cover um, from Documented Journey, and I decided to put it in this because I that cork cover is a folio, and I was trying to cram so much stuff into that notebook that I decided put it in a traveler's notebook. Just put it in a traveler's notebook. Use that for one of my hardbound standard size notebooks. So, one thing that has changed is I was using this DIY fish insert. And I've been using the DIY fish inserts a lot. Um, I was using them all throughout the school year, last year, uh, in the fall, and in the spring. Um, but I stopped using it because number one, uh, I didn't need a day on a page. What I ended up doing was, you know, doing like some journaling and some doodling, 
the first few days. And then after that, I haven't touched it. Um, and so I decided, well, let's see what happens if I just pull it out of my notebook. And um, I also felt like I was duplicating a lot because there's my little babies and it looks like one of them is gonna jump up here right now. And we'll see how well she stays. This one's up here. Um, so it has my monthly calendar in it, which I felt like I was duplicating the same stuff in both of these. Then I have my weekly calendar, like here was the first week of July. I have these printable post-it notes from Peanuts Planner Co., which served the same purpose as these that I write in up here. And it has the week. And if I didn't need the day on a page, it just felt a little wasteful. And then I thought, well, do I journal here? Do I journal someplace else? And I thought, well, let's just pull this out towards the end of the week and see what happens. Well, I pulled it out and I haven't looked at it since. So it's staying out. So I've got my weekly calendar. Here we are set up for the next week. We have my zipper pouch, which has stickers. And more washi tapes and post-it notes and page flags. And then the last thing we have is a um, grid insert that I made uh, with, I'm already planning my 2022 system, what I wanna do, and taking notes on the things that worked for me and didn't work for me in the first week of One Book July. So that's, that's what we have in here. And this is like acting as like my main planner. Um, and it's by my side most of the time. This is my wallet for on the go. But now that leads us to the other items that I was using because I was using four books this July. So the next thing we have is my A5 cork cover, which houses my Midori MD notebook. Now I do have a, a DIY fish calendar in here, and I just printed one on the Midori MD paper to go with it, and I'm just gonna fill out like my monthly stuff here. Um, and I, I like it, and yes, I know it is duplication, but I'm just gonna fill it out so I have it filled out because it's a monthly calendar. It doesn't take that long to fill out a monthly calendar. Um, I played at a church on July 4th. Uh, we did the Stars and Stripes, piccolo, flute, and piano, and, and I played a bunch of other stuff. So I have that there to journal about. But I decided that this is going to be the journal that I use. I. Midori MD paper is my favorite. This is the grid paper, which I love even more. I love their plain paper, but I, I like the grid. I know people will ask where these are from. This is from Red Harp Arts on Instagram. It's from Kate. This is from the Stationery Cafe podcast and their um, Patreon. I was in their Patreon for the first month. This is from Job's Journal. I think this was a June freebie when you placed an order. I didn't know it was the June freebie, so I actually have two. And it's an ouch, I broke my no spend. Looks like he's gotten beat up by his uh, spending. So due to my no spend, low spend videos in the past, I thought that was perfect. This right here is a beautiful one from Brie at Documented Journey. And then this is from a former student, uh, Noelle Palmer. Uh, Noelle has a, um, uh, oh, what's it called, Store Envy. 
and it's a um, pride flag boba tea, which I just thought, I love boba tea and it's a pride flag, so it had to go there. Um, and I will link as much of this stuff as I can down there. And, and Noelle has lots of other really great stickers and pins that you can purchase from her store. But this is going to be my journal. I started it in June, very little in June. And I just wanted to put some of my favorite things, some stamps, some mushrooms, some washi. I always leave the first few pages blank because I, I don't know how I want the beginning to be. And then I've journaled about streaming on Twitch. Twitch. This was my birthday and a concert that I played with Wynton Marcellus. Oops. I had to cancel my music stream, but I wanted to comment on it. I wanted to see how my Viviva color sheets work on this. I did a Twitch stream last week. It would have been on the 30th of June where I turned leftover watercolor paper or like mixed media paper into a blotting sheet. And if you're using a fountain pen or something, you can stick this in and it'll soak up the ink. So this is going to be my journal. I wanted to get all of my journaling into one place, whether it's about my streaming or it's about happy mail or any of that stuff. I decided that needs to go in one place. And I think a bound book is the perfect place for that. So this will be perfect for all of the journaling. And then that leaves my discs. And I've been thinking a lot about the discs. And what this is going to be is I'm going to remove all of the planning stuff from it. So that means like this stuff will come out. It means the weekly stuff will come out because again, I, it felt like I was like writing stuff here and writing stuff there and writing stuff there that I was just, you know, putting it three, four places and, and I didn't need to be doing that. So that stuff will come out. And I think what I want it to be is, um, I did have it set up for Twitch and for like journaling. What I think I want this to be is a place where I have a lot of uh, art papers, like um, sketchbooks and stuff, but sometimes all of the sketchbooks I have are the ones with the spiral binding. They're spiral binding like this, where you can rip the paper out. And I've done doodling in here. There's a sunflower that I did. Um, what I have decided to do is to take this paper and then cut it down to half letter paper. And I think I want to turn this into a sketchbook. I, I do have some journaling here and notes, but I really liked coming here and doing my um, Hobonichi challenge where I did all of the characters from Sanrio that were on the they're just so cute this is the only monthly challenge that I did every day and I think it's because I love the characters I messed up their ears I know I know it's okay I had so much fun doing this challenge that and I like the size of the page I like that they are um you know they're not too big they're not too small it's great oh, cinnamon roll cinnamon roll or something like that I think his name is 
And the last day of June was Gudatama and his little booty. So what I think I'm going to do is, I don't have it done yet, but all of the planning stuff is coming out of here. And I'm going to cut down sketch paper. I've got some toned sketch paper, and I even have some watercolor paper that I'm gonna cut down and mixed media paper. And so I have like a different um, section for the different types of media. And I can put them in here when I'm done and have a sketchbook that, you know, can expand with what I decide to put in it. So this will be all like arting and stuff. This will be my journal. This will be my personal planner. And this will be my wallet and on-the-go planner when these are too big to carry. Like if we're going to the grocery store, I just need this. I don't need any of these others. And the only pen I used this week is my Uni Pure Malt with a Pentel Energel Brown 07 uh, refill. And that's what I plan on using this week. What I will do is I will, just like I did this week, I'll take notes in my standard notebook. I'll do my journaling, my wallet on the go, and come back next week to see how I have changed the contents of this disc planner. I'm That I'm looking forward to see. And it, it, that way it can be a, a creative place. And I, I love that it's a clear cover because then I can change the look of it, the front and the back when I'm, when I want to with whatever art that I've been doing. So there we are. There's my thoughts on my first week from One Book July. What did you do this week? What did you learn? I've really learned quite a bit about my planning, journaling, and arting system that I want to move forward with. So there we go. Um, leave a comment down below if you have any thoughts, if you have any questions, um, and I will get back with you as soon as I can. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.